Like here, I can see a lot of water, but in my community, mm -hmm. a water is a big problem. I we don't have dams around. Mm -hmm. mm, there are no dams around, so we majorly depend on rainwater. And when the rain disappears, that's the end okay. of the crops. Mm -hmm. Well, we have the opposite to you. We have a lots of rain. We just recently had a flood, which has devastated a lot of the farms in our local area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Australian Food Sovereignty Alliance uh, is about um, promoting a vision for a different food system for Australia and for the world, a food system that's fair and sustainable and resilient. And you're hoping that us as Australian people that we will hear your message and we will take it to our own government and, and ask them to to, to make certain changes? Sure, yeah. especially in terms of support for the smallholder farmer mm -hmm. uh, through action aid and maybe any other organization. You know, small changes at a, at a very much, a, a realistically, the grassroots or the sorghum roots level makes such an enormous difference that it was worth publicising. You just feel inspired. She's been through so much. Um, she also has to do so much just to survive and get food on the table and educate her children. So it makes you realise just how lucky we are here. And it makes you want to say, well, what can we do to help? So Polly, I'm really looking forward to coming to see your farm in Uganda. Um, what do you think I'm going to learn from visiting your farm? Actually, you are coming to see the challenges the women scale farmers are facing in, in Uganda, and particularly in the community that I come from. Mm -hmm. The, women in, the rural women in Australia have very strong networks already set up. So there are already networks in place where they can support each other, where you can turn for support, you can turn for learning, education, sharing of experiences, and help when you need it. And, and I think that's very vital. Uh, the experience of land within this short period of my stay in Australia is that uh, women have similar problems. But also the network that is between women farmers in Australia. I feel that is something we have learned and are going to use that to strengthen the peer-to-peer -peer support and collaboration between women farmers in Uganda um, so that they are able to identify with their issues, their problems and collectively advocate for a change to government.